First things I gotta do now that I'm back in Cali. Today's gonna be some sun, so I'm gonna definitely get a tan because this is out of control. I look like a ghost. Uh, hi. So I'm back in California. I actually have a meeting, a phone interview with the gym to see if I'm gonna be a personal trainer there in just about 25 minutes. So I will check in with you guys after this interview. What's up guys? So it's actually the next day. The phone interview I had turned into an in-person interview. I showed up with the whole presentation, my website, promo video, marketing ideas, as well as my personal training certification from the National Academy of Sports Medicine. And basically they were blown away. They offered me the position on the spot. So I am the newest trainer at Self-Made Training Facility in Costa Mesa, California. It's a super dope exclusive gym just a mile away from the beach. So if you're interested in transforming your body, transforming your life, head over to my website, www.jcanfit.com. And let's get started working on that body you've always dreamed of. I was expecting that to be a little bit more difficult, right? And you're gonna squat back like this in the chair. There you go. You're gonna go But I didn't want to kill you on the first time. Thank you. First work. Thank you. I appreciate it. Anyways, follow her on Instagram at Georgia underscore. Yeah. She's test out the exercise and see how my body reacts. I'm actually gonna start journalizing all of my lifts starting Monday, but my strength is just not there. I didn't train legs much in Italy and I can really feel it. 
I'm only lifting 185. I'm squatting 185 for pause reps of like six to eight right now. And I don't even think I'm gonna go heavier. I wanna maintain my form and really focus on that muscle engagement rather than focusing on just trying to push weight with bad form. Another thing I'm doing is I'm sticking with shorter rest breaks, similar to the way I trained in Italy, trying to go my legs, because not training them much in 2020, I feel like it's showing. I want some more muscle in my legs. Leave you in like oxygen All in an otherwise suffocating world I'm reaching out for arms, I'm drowning in, in, in the open-ended love we're making, girl Exhale the past, inhale the future that lasts Change my heart, change my mind For the last time, I wanna believe in the life I've led I don't wanna leave My evidence you once really cared I'm reaching for a hand to pull me up, up. One open to an everlasting love Exhale the past Inhale the future that lasts Change my heart, change my mind for the last time, I wanna believe in the life I've led. I don't wanna leave another word unsaid. You know my heart. So it's a few days later and I figured the way I'm gonna end this vlog is by doing a little gym shark haul. I have a package here with about five items in it. I basically bought a whole outfit. I spent like $150. What I love about gym shark is their materials are very, very good for a very affordable price, especially if they're on sale. I didn't get anything on sale, but even without the sale, it was super affordable. So I ended up getting a zip up hoodie, matching joggers, training joggers, a short sleeve shirt and a stringer. So I'm gonna try them all on for you. What I'm gonna do is just put them all on at once since it is a complete outfit. And then layer by layer, I'm gonna take off the jacket, the short sleeve shirt, let you guys see how everything fits on me. I'll tell you what my thoughts are on the material. It is pretty overcast outside, so I'm gonna have to turn the exposure up on this camera. Hopefully I'm not gonna be so pale that you can't see me. The tracksuit, I went all navy blue. All right, 
So right now I'm wearing the Crest zip up hoodie and Crest joggers. So this is gonna be like my top layer. When I'm a bit colder, I can wear my training joggers underneath these joggers and then wear the zip up hoodie. I got both of them in medium. I didn't want to risk them being too tight. I will say the slim fit feels really nice, but there is breathing room. The material is really flexible. I don't have any concerns about it ripping if I were to train in this outfit. Let's turn this exposure down. There we go. I look, I look like a human now. Okay, so I just double checked my order. I spent $35 on the top and then $30 on the joggers. So it's a matching set for $65. You're getting a full, really nice top quality Gymshark track suit. Like I always say, Gymshark, sponsor me, sponsor me. So what I like about these joggers is that even at a medium, I have enough space to wear my training joggers underneath just in case when it is pretty cold outside, I have a couple layers to keep me warm. We've got the nice cuffs right here. So then you have that slim fit at the bottom, show off those nice Nikes that you're wearing. So here's the arrival shirt. Right now I'm weighing 174 pounds this morning. So I gained a couple of pounds since the start of this video when I was 170. I don't think that it's fat. I mean, the abs are still looking nice. This is me at 174. It definitely is snug on you. It hugs your body, makes makes your physique look nice. What I like about the rival line with Gymshark is they're all really subtle. Nice little logo right here, but not too much going on. Honestly, this is typically my style, more simplistic. I don't like too many crazy designs. I got everything in medium, the zip up hoodie, the two pairs of joggers I got, the shorts, but the tops I went with small because I wanted something a little bit more slim fit, something that hugs my body. So I went ahead and took off the Crest joggers. Now I have on the rival short sleeve and the rival pants. Again, we've got the logo right here. So the Crest joggers and the Crest zip up jacket, those are like a warmer material for when it's a little bit colder outside. Whereas the Arrival line, that's more performance. So these pants right here, they're super flexible, great for working out. You can do squats, deadlifts, anything you wanna do. I don't think these pants are gonna hinder you at all. Okay, so I have to tell you guys, the Rival Stringer, like I said in my previous video where I reviewed the Gymshark Stringers, I love the Rival line. Super stretchy, slim fit with the small is perfect for me. So one other thing I wanted to say about the Arrival joggers here is that it has a nice zip at the end, so you have that tight fit where it's gonna be tight around your ankles. Don't get too excited now. Oh, see, I have to, I have to unzip this just to take these pants off because it's a little bit, a little bit tight. Here are the rival shorts. Always simple little logo. As you can tell, I like to wear all black. So that's gonna be it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you're not subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button. Give me a big thumbs up. Comment what you thought about the video and until next time, peace.